At roughly 400,000 acres, it's the biggest wildfire in the country, larger than Los Angeles. They're estimating a mile an hour through heavy timber, which is extremely significant. Over 2,000 firefighters are tackling one of the largest fires in the state's history, prompting thousands of evacuations. If we didn't get out when we did, we all would have been dead. Firefighters are already taking unacceptable risks. So far this year, five times as many acres have burned in California compared with the same period in 2020. Firefighters say what's unfolding here is more than one disaster feeding off another. We're being asked to suppress or battle fires that didn't exist 20 years ago. We're seeing hot days and heat waves like we've never seen before. And it is literally climate change playing out before our eyes. Historic drought is the perfect fuel for these epic conditions. But it's climate change creating infernos larger than ever, with vortexes of smoke powerful enough to spawn their own weather systems. Remember when scientists were telling us that all the carbon we're putting in the atmosphere would come back to haunt us eventually? Well, it's Wednesday, July the eventually -th. We used to have fire seasons, now we have fire years. On a day-to-day -day basis, we're being surprised. And in, in this business, surprise is what kills people. It comes down to talking about drought-stressed trees, lack of spring moisture, and higher than normal temperatures. Mother Nature, she's not very happy with us right now. We've got to start confronting climate change with the same level of effort and resources and intensity that we do to fight the wildland fires. As a society, we have to take seven seriously. Jesus Christ. Whoa! Oh my gosh. It's okay. We're out. Get out of here so I can be a dad to my son.